Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to the next chapter of the Lightning Library. This is the series where I take an in-depth look at every entry released in Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Collection, go over the history of the items, and then take a look at them themselves. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the penultimate releases from 2020. These are Versus Packs Wave 1, which were released in November of 2020. And uh, what's really cool about this Versus Packs line that they started back then is that uh, we already kind of had a Versus Packs wave back in 2019. The Lost Galaxy Red Sega Red 2 pack and the Fighting Spirit Green Putty 2 pack were kind of like a, a Versus Packs Series Wave Zero kind of thing. They were not officially labeled as a Wave 1 for Versus Packs like these are. Um, so they were kind of to test the waters, I like to say, while these were kind of, you know, the real deal labeled as Versus Packs Wave 1. And what's really cool about that as well is that since they are two two packs and you get four figures, it's almost like you're getting a kind of bonus regular wave, since a regular wave would be four figures here. And uh, so these ones are themed after two different seasons here. Of course, Power Rangers in Space. This one is a sibling rivalry kind of themed pack with Andros, the Red Ranger, and spoiler, Astronema, the, you know, sister of the Andros. Uh, that is the spoiler right there for a 20-year-old show. And then on the other side here, we have the SPD Blue Ranger from the B-Squad versus his evil counterpart, the SPD Blue Ranger from the A-Squad, who is evil and also based off of, you know, kind of repainted from TJ in Space Blue's suit. So technically we get a lot of in space figures here in this first wave. But these are some pretty, pretty cool packs here to take a look at. Of course, as always, we're going to start here by looking at the packaging for these figures. Uh, we're pretty tight on space here, but here is the packaging for the Andros and Astronema versus pack. So you can see here, Tom Whalen went with the forward facing artwork, very much like his two packs in 2019 and such like that. Uh, so, but this one, these ones are a lot more zoomed out compared to the original ones from 2019, where they're a lot more closer, but here we go. We got those there. And of, of course on the back, I have replicated the 3D render pose as best as I possibly can. So there is that one. And then of course we also have the SPD blue two pack. So here is that right there. Very blue as it should be. And then me trying to replicate the pose as well as I can. So of course we're going to take a look at the history of these figures. And also at the end of the video, we're gonna pan up here and take a look at their Spectrum counterparts which were released unexpectedly as well in November 2020. So let's go ahead and just get right on into the history. The first indications of the Versus Packs line came from at Ranger Select on August 4th, 2020, when they found an assortment listing for a lightning 6-inch battle pack on a distributor website. At first, these were listed as PRG-BM, which made some think that they could have something to do with Beast Morphers, despite lightning being mentioned in the listing. A few days after this, I stumbled upon a listing on Amazon Germany for a PRG BLT Rad Earth A V Earth B, which was one using the new code system established with Wave 7, down to some of the same code names being used like Rad. Following this discovery, at Martian Ranger would share that they had found a listing like this as well the night before, PRG BLT BLM Jupiter vs Lava, both of which seemed to follow the same structure though it was unknown if they were related to that assortment listing at first. As with Wave 7 and Monsters Wave 1 that we have seen in the past few weeks on the series, the first solid pieces of info about these figures came from at MCU Collector 24 in an unboxing video posted at the end of August. And a little bit of news if you're watching this video, in Space Rangers, the rest of the team's coming. Expect two packs. Andros and Astronema maybe? I think so. Squad A, Squad B, I don't know what those are, but maybe those are the rest of the Rangers. 2021, it's happening. Oh, actually, maybe this year. With this new info in mind, it seemed likely to place the Andros and Astronema pack with the BLM Jupiter vs. Lava listing, as Jupiter was theorized to be read at the time in the codes before that got confirmed, while the tease of Squad A vs. Squad B could only really fit the team seen in Power Rangers SPD, as well as matching up quite well to the Earth A v Earth B listing. Just as they did for Wave 7 and Monsters Wave 1, this info on the Versus packs was backed up by No Pink Spandex at the beginning of September, and they reported that both would cost 
allowing them to be matched to the assortment listings found back in August. Of course, following in the trend once again, Versus Pax Wave 1 was announced as an additional new subline to join the Lightning Collection during Hasbro PulseCon 2020. Just like Monsters Wave 1, they were not far enough along to be shown beyond their deco spec sheets until the October 30th Fan First Friday event, when they were put up for pre-order. The end of 2020 releases all followed a similar pattern of leaks and reveals, and the Versus packs were no exception, as they too got surprise Spectrum series boxes released out of nowhere at Target in November 2020, after the regular boxes released online from Big Bad Toy Store. And just as with Monsters Wave 1 Spectrums, these Spectrum Versus packs have never been revealed or officially acknowledged to exist by Hasbro. While Monsters Wave 1 did not seem to be a hit for the first spin-off line in the series, the Versus packs seem to be pulling their weight, as while they do go on discount every once in a while, a second wave of Versus packs was announced to be released and was put up for pre-order on the May 14th, 2021 Fan First Friday, seeming to show that Hasbro is happy enough with the second spin-off line to keep it going. So here are the two figures, and these ones are really excellent. I already did videos of Versus Pax Wave 1 back when I got mine. I did an unboxing video and such. Uh, so you, I will put a you know card up here somewhere about that. But uh, these are excellent. I love both of these packs. I just can't always decide which one's my favorite of the two. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with this one by just removing this effect piece because it's barely hanging on in there anyway. Uh, so this is a brand new exclusive effect piece that you so far has only come out with this. Uh, it's kind of a light pinkish color. It's a very big one. It's definitely one of the biggest ones we had. Uh, and it's kind of advertised just kind of being like a strike between their two weapons there. But I guess it's mainly more for Astronomer. But uh, that's the only effect piece on this set. So while there are two figures, you only get one effect piece. Uh, so that's just kind of interesting there. But uh, we'll go ahead and start with Andros here. So this is the, as of the time that this pack came out, the first time we had the male in space body. Uh, we have now had it again with Carlos in Wave 9, and we're about to get it with TJ in Versus Packs Wave 2. But here it is right here, and I mean, I think it's pretty good. It's definitely, you know, the in-space suits are somewhat basic, so it's not too hard to replicate this in Lightning Collection form here. I think the helmet looks nice. Mine is straight, the visor. Uh, the little symbol might be a tiny bit off-centered, but it's not too bad there. You can see how shiny that is there. You can see the reflection of my lights in his little visor dome, so... But I think mine turned out pretty nicely. I think the entire figure itself turned out pretty nicely. I'm happy to have Andros in the line here. You get the squares. Mine are pretty lined up in the center there. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, you get the white on the shoulders and everything, which every In Space Ranger so far, except for Cassie, has been shown to have that. Um, of course, you get a very iconic weapon. You get the Spiral Saber, something that Bandai's Legacy version was missing. Unfortunately, this is one of those Lightning Collection weapons where the handle is painted. Uh, so it is going to be prone to chipping, although mine really hasn't chipped too bad, so maybe it uh, maybe will actually hold up a little bit better. But you do get the nice red paint there. You get the whole spiral effect, obviously, for the spiral saber. And then, of course, his only other weapon is the Astro Blaster, which is the same mold as the one from Ashley in Wave 6, but is slightly different, as this one, I believe, is cast in that kind of silver plastic and then painted blue. Well, I think the other way around... Uh, on Ashley's one where it was still painted blue, but I think it was also just painted in silver as well as part of it instead of like that kind of clearish silvery gray plastic. But uh, yeah, of course, Andros comes with some hands. He comes with a left holding hand. So nothing we haven't already seen before, but he does come with one new exclusive hand, which is this finger, you know, one finger in the air pointing finger. So that's pretty cool. That's for his kind of Mega Ranger roll call pose. So I definitely appreciate that. Now, of course, we have the swappable head. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. The Andros head. Christopher Kamen Lee. So there it is. And I don't think it's too bad. I don't think it's one of the best ones we had. I think the blonde, like, you know, little stripes, I guess, in his hair are maybe a little too exaggerated. Some pictures, I don't think it's too bad. I don't know. The more I look at it, like, sometimes I really see Andros in there. Sometimes I really don't. Today, I think I'm kind of 50-50 on it, but I do think that the blonde is just a little too bright, but I mean, he did have that, it's not inaccurate, but it does look kind of strange, but you know, there's the Andros head sculpt. Like I said, I don't think it's one of the worst, don't think it's one of the best, but it's definitely there, so uh, yeah, that is, if I can get his head off, that is Andros, so let's go ahead and take a look at his sister, Carone, or 
also known as Astronomer. So we'll just go ahead and move Andrus out of the way if I can get him onto the stand. And here is the Empress of Evil herself, the Queen of Evil, Astronomer. Definitely one that was highly requested to join the Lightning Collection. You get her awesome staff, which is a very nice length and everything. You get a nice paint up there and such. I think that turned out pretty nice. And the entire figure, I'll go ahead and just take the staff out of her hands, so that way you can get a better look at her. The entire figure is essentially the, kind of basically the uh, Rita Repulsa figure that was underneath the dress, where it's just kind of a basic female body mold, but obviously with some painted details there for her armor. And then of course a little bit of re-sculpting there on her arms and on the armor of course is a brand new chest piece you also get this little leg armor piece which has her little boomerang which can come off and be a weapon for her so that's pretty cool and it just very nicely clips in there kind of just dangles so you know you can like move it and stuff it's not really going to fall out though so that's good uh but yeah so you get her locket molded onto her chest armor there which is i think really cool that's pretty important from the show and uh i know some people's break at the elbows because these are pretty thin arms so you just have to be be careful you know with posing it and everything mine have held up pretty well i think uh here is the astronomer head sculpt which i think looks pretty lo much like melanie perkins i don't think it's too bad you get the kind of you know makeup a little bit there you get the nice gradient of like the blue and the purple in her hair which i think looks really cool that the hair looks really good and i'm happy that we are doing it together uh, hair sculpts in future releases even though it hasn't been announced yet we are getting that second astronoma with the clip door really looking forward to that two pack uh, that one is definitely a little bit more different than this one is so you are still getting two separate kind of figures with that but yeah i think astronomer looks pretty solid i'm happy that uh we have her in the line i know some people will also say that she might be a little too small but i don't think it's that bad i think she is perfectly fine she does have two more hands of course you get a fist, and you get another fist. So you get two fists, you kind of get a little bit of money detail in there, which I'm sure is barely coming across. But you do get that, and that's really going to do it for the first versus pack. So let's move on to the SPD one. All right, so next up is the SPD A Squad versus B Squad Blue Ranger 2 pack. And this one is my favorite of the two, probably. I really, really like this one a lot, uh, just because of how much stuff you get with it and what it brings to the table uh, and stuff like that. So... We'll go ahead and take a look first at A Squad, or I'm sorry, B Squad Blue, Sky Tate here, the second in command of the SPD team. So he looks really solid. I think that, uh, you know, compared to the other figures, uh, it's basically exactly what you'd expect. It is using the SPD Red body mold from the Wave 4 release, so there's nothing too crazy there. If you have that figure, you know where you're getting with this. It's basically just painted in blue with the two sitting there and everything. Now the helmet is interesting because it's definitely nicely sculpted, but you see the really thick white line all around it. That's accurate, but the SPD helmets have just had a history of having silver outlines or no outlines or, I don't know, it's just pretty crazy. This one is accurate though, maybe a little too thick in some areas, but you know, it's there. You get his Delta Max striker weapon, which looks pretty nice here. Here it is. I knocked a little piece off of it though but you do get it the little like grip piece and then you get the little baton mode which you can holster both of these into his holster you also get with it you also get with it the longer kind of sniper mode with it which you can still clip in or you can have and just kind of hold it as sort of the sword uh, rod kind of thing but you can whoops that's backwards you can clip it in there you have the like more sniper kind of one uh, so that's cool. I definitely appreciate you get so much, all the different versions of that. You do, of course, get his Delta Morpher, which is the same one that we got with Jack. So it is accurate and everything like that. It's the last time it's been accurate since Bridge and Sid have not had it been accurate. But, you know, hand-wise, you do get a holding hand to hold the Delta Morpher. Same one we got with Jack. And then you do get another holding hand, kind of a shooting position holding hand. So that looks good there, too. And of course, you get the Sky Tate head, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And there it is. And I think that this one is one of the greatest head sculpts we've had in the Lightning Collection. I think that really, really looks like Sky. I think they really nailed it with that one. I'm very happy with it. It also looks really nice on your SPD Red Ranger from when he got promoted at the end of the series. So that's always really cool as well. 
And I think Sky is just a really nice addition to the Lightning Collection line uh, to have here in this Versus pack. Not only is it cool to get him, but what's really cool is to get who we have him fighting in this set, which for the very first time ever, we've got a figure of an A-Squad Ranger. These were American exclusive designs used in only SPD, not in Decca Ranger, which were repurposed from in-space suits. So that's why their helmets are basically the in-space helmets with kind of motocross armor that was probably left over from the production of Ninja Storm. And so, uh, yeah, we got that here. It's definitely a very thrown together, but the figure reflects that. I mean, it's accurate to it all, but these are very simple Ranger suits, so it's a simple figure. But I love that we finally have this here, and I'm happy we're going to be completing the team here in the fall of 2021. But we had to start somewhere, and we started with Blue. So he looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with him. You get the nice A's on the shoulder pads. You get the A on the chest there in Blue. You get the A's on the knees, which are things I never even noticed about these suits, but they are there. You get the white visor trim, which is essentially just the in-space blue helmet. Now, it's accurate here, being a white trim. I'm sorry, actually, it's inaccurate, my bad, being a white trim here, where it's supposed to be a silver trim. All the other four SPD A-Squad Rangers that we're going to be getting have the accurate silver trims. So this one is going to be the odd man out there of being inaccurate, unfortunately. The other four are accurate, so you're just, I don't really know why that is always happening with white and silver visors. They never seem to be consistent on that, but uh, there is that there. He also comes with his American exclusive A-Squad Blaster weapon here, which looks pretty cool. I'm definitely a fan of this design, especially when it doesn't focus on the camera. So there it is. You get like these nice blue accents to it and such like that. Um, it's like a nice, like big looking gun weapon. I really like it. It's just unfortunately he has kind of sword holding hands and not really gun holding hands so he really doesn't hold it very well but also you get this effect piece which is reused from magnet defender as well as spd red and i think sky is preventing it from focusing so let's try that again you get this effect piece that we've seen with magnet defender and spd red but we see it here in a kind of a lime green and it's supposed to clip onto the end of the blaster here but it is not meant for this weapon and it does not want to clip on here. I'm forcing it on pretty toughly there. And it will stay. I'm just... Okay, that's the best it's ever been able to stay for me. So you really have to force it in there. And uh, I like this one a lot. I really like how it looks at the end of this too. Which is cool because the other four SPD A-Squad Rangers are coming with this exact effect piece in their colors. So that's another thing that's going to be inaccurate. You're going to get those four Rangers coming with like red, blue... I'm sorry, red, green, pink, and, you know, yellow effect pieces, while blues here is this lime green. So if you want the blue version of it, you're going to have to track down or steal it from Magnet Defender or SPD Red. So either they can't have it and you give it to SPD Blue, or you have to buy a duplicate of those figures to get it in blue. So obviously not really forward thinking with this release of how it was going to match their SPD A squads, but that's just what happened, I guess. You also get just, you know, a fist and another fist for him nothing too crazy they're just typical fist hands cast in black plastic instead of white and of course before i go here here is a look at their spectrum versions of these versus packs so yep the 20 dollars regular figures the 30 dollars monsters and the 40 dollars two packs all got spectrum releases and just like the monsters these two were never announced and have since never been announced uh, but here they are they look really nice obviously the tray layouts just like the monsters and everything are the same exact as the regular versions but you get that nice black packaging you get the hollow foil on the power Rangers logo and such i apologize for all the glare here it's kind of hard to show these off here uh, but what's really cool about these ones is you get brand new tom whelan artwork of course now on a typical spectrum box here's dino thunder reds they're all a side complete side profile uh, but they're all facing the same direction on all the Monsters and Versus packs, or Monsters and Wave 7 ones. But here on the Versus packs, you have the characters facing each other, which makes it look like they're, you know, Versus facing off. So I actually think that compared to the regular vers versions of the Versus packs packaging, that these ones have the cooler box art. I think it makes sense to have them look like they're facing off against each other. And so for that reason, the Spectrums are, for these ones, are my preferred boxes. My favorite the Spectrums are these monster ones, are these Versus Packs ones. And I think, uh, yeah, this is just really, really cool here that we get that. And so...
And so yeah, that's uh, pretty much going to do it here with the Spectrums. Obviously the back has the same artwork, although on these ones, the uh, 3D renders are a lot more zoomed in on the Spectrum ones than they are on the regular ones. I don't really know why. It's the same artwork. You can see how foily they are, how reflective and shiny. They are very pretty, although because of that complete side profile, you get ones like this with Astronomer where you just get the hair, <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, that is the Spectrums of the Versus packs. So we'll go ahead and show the back of the blue one here. And uh, back onto the top shelf they go. All right, well, that is going to do it for this week's chapter of the Lighting Library. Versus Packs Wave 1 is are really, really solid. If you have not picked them up yet, I highly recommend picking them up. Not only are we about to complete a squad, so it makes a lot of sense to pick up blue here. Of course, in Space Red, you're going to want the leader of the team. Now, we are going to get a new release of Astronomy here pretty soon with Eclip Door. And I'm sure, I'm sure we'll probably get a version of SPD Blue single release at some point in the line. But for now, these are really, really good releases. I think they're fun. You know, you get a villain and a ranger in both of them. I think they are fun picks, important picks, and such like that. Uh, I mean, the Andros and Astrama one makes a little bit more sense. The SPD one, I mean, it makes sense, but it's definitely a little bit more of an obscure choice to pick. Uh, so I think it's kind of a bold idea to have that one here. But yeah, I love this set. I can't wait for Versus Packs Wave 2, which consists of a Mighty Morphin pack, which is Mighty Morphin Yellow versus a uh, Scorpina. And then you also have another In Space one, which is going to be In Space Blue versus Psycho Silver. So I can't wait to take a look at those ones when they come out this fall. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this week's chapter. Of course, stay tuned for next week when we get to the finale of Season 2, the final Lightning Library episode for the 2020 releases. When we take a look, I'm Metallic Armor, MMPR Pink. I'll see you all next time. Until then, you can follow me on Twitter at LiveInRangerKey or at LightningFigPR, and I'll see you all next week for the finale of Season 2.